The score read 49-41 for Chattanooga, but for Samford, defeat was never on their minds. Definitely pleased with how our team responded the second half. We could easily quit, uh, but this team has been about toughness and heart the entire year. We were one or two possessions away, whether it was a, a, a stop or, or a couple of plays of winning the basketball game. But um, we got beat by a very good team. Um, but I'm definitely pleased with our team's effort and our response, especially when we got down in the first half. And for Samford, the real loss today is saying goodbye to four senior players. It is emotional. It's tough to leave them because they are such a core of what we do, have done over the last four years. But I, I know we're better off as a program. I, I think um, Sanford's better off for having these four young ladies, and I, and I hope they feel the same uh, as they go into the world. That list also includes Taylor Reese, who leaves as Sanford's fifth all-time leading scorer. Amazing on-the-court accomplishments, but there's so much more to her time at Sanford than that. She came in a freshman year, won a championship on this floor, to injuries, to coming back, to, to, to uh, being one of our best players in the history of our program, graduated nursing degree last year, going to get her master's in nursing another year. I mean, are you kidding me? Who, who does that? You know, and just a perfect example of, of what Sanford's all about on and off the court. It's been, it's been really fun. Um, wouldn't have wanted to do it anywhere else. Cassidy Blevins had a breakout tournament, 18 points today. She led Sanford in scoring for the two games they were here. For her, the attention is already on next year. You know, we have next year and we have the years after that, and um, I have two more, and um, we're excited, and we're going to start back to work tomorrow and, and go again, so we're excited about that. After today, Sanford finishes their season 20 and 11. In Asheville at the SoCon Championships, I'm Brad Radisi. Samford University.